Good day. I would like to tell you about the world's best mattress, which is the dream at Comfort King. Now, I know what some of you are probably thinking. The world's best mattress? Isn't that made somewhere else like San Francisco or Paris or Sweden? Well, actually, no. Uh, in fact, you can do this yourself. Just go Google world's most expensive mattress. I just did that. And uh, it's pretty funny actually, because you see what these companies are putting in their super high-end mattresses. And it's very little to do with the actual components that you're laying on and that support you over the next 15 to 20 years. It has all, everything to do with the fabrics on top, the very, very top layer. For example, you'll read about horsetail hair. Yes, horsetail hair. Haven't you always wanted to sleep? on the hair from the tail of a horse? Me neither. Uh, the other thing is alpaca fur. Apparently alpaca fur really helps you sleep better, or at least it's very expensive. And then another thing you'll see, of course, is silk and wool and these types of things, which are you know higher end fabrics, but they really don't really help you sleep better at night. And at Comfort King, our only focus here is helping people sleep better at night. So the components that we're gonna put in our mattresses are geared towards that. We're never gonna put something in our mattress, whether it's a, a super high-end fancy fabric that doesn't do you any good, or some other gimmick of cooling properties that people talk about, some chemical sprays that they put in them. Uh, we're never gonna do things like that unless they actually help you sleep better. So that's been our standard for the past nearly 30 years of making mattresses, and that will always be our standard. So when we've compiled the dream out of all the models we make, the dream uses the most expensive high-end components in the industry that actually benefit you. So I'll tell you a little bit about them. First off, of course, we're using our German pocketed coils. And for those who don't know, because there's a lot of smoke and mirrors out there, there's still a lot of mattress salesmen who will tell you that foam core will last longer than an inner spring. And that's just not true. You, you don't have to be an expert to know that foam is not as strong as steel. Uh, there's nowhere in construction where foam is used in place of steel and it's stronger. So that's not true anywhere else in the world and it's not true in mattresses either. Now we know that because we've actually been making mattresses for about 27 years and uh, we've really never had a coil fail or it's very rare. Uh, what fails on a mattress is foam. In fact, the most common used material in mattresses today is polyurethane foam. Now, these are just simple facts, but uh, most people aren't aware of it. In fact, uh, we recently had someone in who sold mattresses for a big furniture chain. And for, for a while, I think a couple years, they're a salesperson there. And they weren't aware that polyurethane foam was used in most, mat well, all mattresses and all furniture. So polyurethane foam is something that Actually, we try to avoid because it doesn't last very long. It feels good in the showroom. And you know, if, you're, if it's a couch, we're using it maybe an hour or two a day, uh, it'll hold up all right. But on a mattress, which is getting eight hours of constant pressure, you need something that's gonna hold up longer. Otherwise, you're gonna get soft spots. And at Comfort King, we warranty against soft spots happening. What soft spots are, it's a loss of support. And it's always going to happen in the, the most used areas of the mattress, which is going to be your shoulders and your hips. So just a very small portion of the mattress is getting a lot of weight on it. And what we're seeing is kind of an epidemic in the industry today is mattresses that are kind of losing their support, you know, well more than 20% softening in the, the hips and uh, shoulders area because of polyurethane foam breaking down. So. That being said, throughout our whole lineup, if you watch all our videos or if you come in, uh, we'll show you. We don't use a lot of polyurethane foam. Most companies, nothing but polyurethane foam. A lot of our competitors are just going to foam because it's easier to build them. Certainly the mass producers love foam core beds because they can build them quicker with very little human input. Uh, it's a conveyor belt system. They just glue two pieces of foam together and then they can roll them up and smash them into a small box. Uh, they can ship them cheaper because foam weighs less than steel. So it's, it doesn't benefit you. That's the main thing. And when we build a mattress, we build it to be the best mattress on the planet. So that's why we use pocketed coils. They're also the most comfortable. Uh, they're not bouncy like old fashioned springs, but they will give you the support you need. 
So when we're designing mattresses, you know, there's things that we focus on, support and comfort. You need both. You don't just need one. Otherwise, we just sleep on plywood because that's very good support. But you need support with comfort because we have pressure points all over our body. Our skin, you know, can hurt if you get a you know, a little poke in it, if you cut it, it can hurt anywhere. So we want to have pressure relieving materials and that's what we've compiled here with the Dream. So to go through it, we've got our main coil system about eight inches tall. Then we have a mini coil, which gives you another 800 coils in a queen. And that's about two and a half inches tall. This is a foam replacement. So before this was available to us, uh, we were using foam and to make this mattress softer because the Dream is a very soft mattress, very plush, very thick, as you can see. It's about 17 inches thick or so, and it's designed so that you sink into it. So those looking for that kind of feel, that's what you're going to get with the Dream. But again, we're not trying to load it up with a bunch of cheap foam. Uh, that's what most other brands do, and that's why they don't really talk about what's inside. They'll talk about the fabrics as if that matters at all. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of fabric your mattress is made out of. I mean, it needs to be comfortable and breathable and all that, but um, the, the bedding industry puts way too much emphasis on the outer skin because it's basically a beauty contest in the showroom. They want you to pick out the most you know, beautiful mattress, especially if you're spending a lot of money, and they don't really focus on what the things that are holding you up. So that's what we do here. So the next layer up is going to be our float anti-gravity gel. Now, uh, you can see videos about our float anti-gravity gel. This is our invention. You can't get this anywhere else in the world. Uh, so that's another reason I say this is the best mattress on the planet because you can't get this anywhere else. Uh, we're getting a patent on it right now. We invented this and that's what we do at Comfort King. We invent things. Uh, for example, we invented the lifetime comfort guarantee. No one else was doing that 27 years ago. I know because I was there. And so I invented it and as a way to help people sleep better, it, it allows us to work with folks down the road if they're not comfortable on their mattress and you know, it's five years later, what do you do? You just keep sleeping on a mattress you don't find comfortable? Well, no, since we have the ability to add or take away materials, layers inside the mattress, we can alter the way it feels. We can add more support and hopefully get you sleeping better. So we invented that. Uh, we had also invented the float. Another thing we invented is the soft spot warranty. That's something we hold the patent on too. And so um, we can only have a soft spot warranty if we're using the best components available. So the float, uh, benefit of float is that it's comfortable. That's just in a nutshell, that's it. It's comfortable. Now, why is it comfortable? It has more airflow in it. That's why we emphasize the word flow uh, because of the design. So uh, unlike foams, it's going to give you more airflow. And that's important so that you're not you know, getting heat buildup in the mattress. The main reason it's comfortable is because of the design of it. It relieves pressure points better. And when you're laying there for hours and not moving, which is kind of the, the goal with sleeping is to, is to not be tossing and turning all night, but to actually get into a position and get into a deep sleep. If you can get eight hours of very few movements, you're doing really well with your sleep and you're gonna be a healthier person. So the, also another thing about the float that's really cool is as you compress it, you kind of see the spiral action there. So it gets increasing support as you compress it. That's what a coil system does. So it responds to the heavier parts of the body and just gives you better support over time. So that's the first layer. We actually have a double layer of float in the Dream. It's the only model we do that. And it, frankly, this is a very heavy mattress. It's the heaviest mattress we've ever made. Float is the heaviest, most dense material used in the bedding industry. Unlike horsetail hair, which probably doesn't weigh that much at all. So sandwiched in between our two float layers is two inches of latex foam. It's genuine latex foam, meaning there's actually rubber in there. Uh, most so-called latex foam in the market today used in the mattress industry is unfortunately synthetic. So it's 100% synthetic. There's no rubber in it. Rubber is the key component. Rubber is one of the most durable materials on the planet, but it's also expensive. That's why big companies like to do shortcuts and use the cheaper stuff. But just like your tires are gonna last longer if they have real rubber in them, uh, latex foam, same thing. A Little bit about latex foam, a lot of people don't know this. It was the original foam invented about 100 years ago. So it's been around a long time, it's not new. Uh, there's a lot of new foams out there. So when people are selling you new foams, you know, you gotta ask the question, how's it gonna feel in 10 years? How's it gonna feel in eight years? And that is the key question that you should be asking as a mattress shopper. 
What's this mat? It feels great in the showroom. See, a lot of people go mattress shopping and they spend a lot of time obviously picking out the right one and laying on it. They'll go from store to store. And that's important, but the real question is, how is it gonna hold up? And if the salesman can't answer that, which they often can't, because uh, the reality about mattress salesmen is their knowledge about mattresses is about this deep. Uh, they really don't know uh, how they're built. They don't know what breaks down in them. Uh, they don't know what, kind of, what these materials are. They wouldn't know how to take a mattress apart and put it back together. At Comfort King, we've been doing that for 27 years. Taking them, building them up, taking them apart as needed with comfort adjustments and the occasional service issue. We know what breaks down, we know what holds up. We're builders, we're not salesmen. So we can explain them to you. We have a showroom if you come in, but uh, our guys that work here are not uh, salesmen, they're builders. So our whole focus here is to help you find the right mattress. Now the dream might be the right mattress for you. We don't know. It's the top of the line, I'll tell you that but it, it is on the soft side. So if you like a firmer bed, we have a bed called the Dream X, which you can see in another video. But just to finish up here, our last actual separate layer is called Flow Foam. And Flow Foam is a kind of a modern day memory foam. It has that nice, super soft feel of memory foam, but it doesn't have the negative aspect of slow moving. It's also not heat sensitive, so it doesn't soften up with your heat. So we like the Flow Foam a lot better. And then top it off with a quilt, of course, most mattresses have quilts, and the quilts have foam and fiber fill. There's a good breathable layer on top. Uh, the Dream also has a zipper. So like all of our high-end, uh, top-end models, we put zippers in, and that makes it easier to adjust the comfort later. So thank you for watching. Uh, I would invite you to stop in and check out all our mattresses. We're currently making, I don't know, 17 or 18 different models of varying prices and quality. So come on in.